Have you ever questioned what it truly means to be a man in today's world? There's a book that delves into this question with profound insight, The Way of the Superior Man by David Deida. This work of literature peels back the layers of masculinity and manhood, presenting us with a fresh perspective on what it truly means to be a man in the 21st century. In the opening chapter, Deida takes us on a journey into the heart of a man's world, where he explores the deepest motivations that drive men. He suggests that a man's ultimate purpose isn't about achieving power or dominance, but instead it's about understanding his authentic purpose in life and pursuing it with unwavering determination. This purpose, according to Deida, shapes every decision a man makes, every action he takes. Manhood, according to Deida, isn't about power or dominance, but about understanding one's purpose and pursuing it relentlessly. So, what is the path to becoming a superior man? As we delve into the heart of Deida's book, we encounter the challenges men face in the pursuit of their purpose. It's a journey riddled with obstacles, but each hurdle serves as a stepping stone, a catalyst for growth. The path to superiority is not about avoiding these challenges, but rather facing them head-on, using them as opportunities to fortify one's character. Deida emphasizes the importance of breaking free from societal norms. In a world that often seeks conformity, it takes courage to stand out, to tread your own path. The superior man is not swayed by the expectations of others. He is guided by his own moral compass, his own sense of purpose. He is a trailblazer, carving his own path in the vast wilderness of life. But it's not just about strength and determination. Deida also stresses the significance of embracing both the masculine and feminine aspects within oneself. It's about finding the balance, the harmony between the two. A superior man acknowledges his emotional depth. He is not afraid to explore his feelings, to be vulnerable. Yet he does so without losing his resolve, his strength. He is a pillar of support for those around him, a beacon of unwavering strength. Yet he is also a well of understanding, of compassion. In essence, the path to becoming a superior man is a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. It's about challenging societal norms, embracing one's emotional depth and maintaining strength and resolve. It's about striking a balance between the masculine and feminine aspects within oneself. About being firm yet understanding, powerful yet compassionate. And so, as we navigate through the chapters of Deida's book, we discover that the superior man is not a mythical figure, not an unreachable ideal. He is within each of us, waiting to be unearthed, waiting to shine. A superior man, as Deida explains, is a blend of strength and sensitivity, firmness and understanding, power and compassion. But how does one navigate the journey to becoming a superior man? Let's delve into the latter chapters of Deida's enlightening book. Here he provides a roadmap, a guide, if you will, to living as a superior man. First and foremost, he encourages embracing our fears. It's not about eliminating fear, but rather using it as fuel for growth, converting it into courage and determination. Further, maintaining a healthy body and mind is crucial. This isn't just about hitting the gym or meditating, but also about nurturing a positive mindset, understanding that our thoughts shape our reality. Then comes the importance of a strong, equal partnership in love. Love is not a battlefield, but a dance. And in this dance, both partners lead and follow in turns. It's about understanding, respect and mutual growth. As Deida asserts, the journey to becoming a superior man is a lifelong process of learning, growing and evolving. What are the key takeaways from the way of the superior man? As we journeyed through the pages of Deida's book, we encountered the concept of a superior man. This is not a man born into superiority, but one who consciously chooses to elevate himself. He is the one who embraces challenges as opportunities for growth and transformation. The journey towards becoming a superior man is not for the faint-hearted. It demands resilience, courage, and an unyielding commitment to personal development. We also delved into the practical guidelines offered by Deida. These guidelines serve as a compass, guiding men through the labyrinth of life. They provide the necessary tools to navigate through challenges, overcome obstacles and ultimately ascend to the realm of superiority. 
In this quest for superiority, remember that the journey is just as important as the destination. Each step, each challenge, each victory is a vital part of the process. In the words of Dada, a superior man is not born, he is made, and the making requires a conscious effort and a willingness to grow.